Climate change is going to hit agriculture very hard in, in the coming decades with, with as much as 20 to 30 percent uh, yield penalties for the uh, major crops uh, by 2050. We, we looked at what we regard as sort of the, the 14 most promising technologies for the main, main staple crops of rice, wheat, and maize for their potential to uh, address the problems introduced by climate change. So then we, you know, we did, did this you know, fairly complicated modeling that we combined both biophysical models and economic models to try to look at, at the, at the long-term impacts uh, of adoption of these technologies. Those resource-conserving technologies came out very strong. Uh, No-till agriculture comes up with significant yield impacts on, on wheat and maize, uh, quite large ones, and uh, integrated soil fertility management is, has strong benefits in you know, the order of 10 to 15 percent yield boosts uh, in the long run. Uh, then uh, one of the really big ones was nitrogen use efficiency, so that that so if you can breed crops that are more uh, are able to use less fertilizer while still maintaining yields or get higher yields from the same amount of fertilizer, that had a big bang also. Uh, to actually make a major dent on, on, on food security, you need fa fairly widespread ad adoption of a wide range of, the, of these technologies. With that kind of adoption, we can get major uh, reductions in, in food prices and major in, uh, increases in, in food security. Uh, another major finding is that with widespread adoption of this, uh, while at the same time that you're reducing pr uh, food prices, we, we show that you, you could uh, reduce the amount of crop area for these three crops by 15 to 25 percent. So a major reduction in, in pressure on, on land resources as well. We do, in fact, have to look regionally to, uh, to identify the most appropriate technologies for any given location. So uh, we found significant differences across, say, South Asia, uh, Africa and the developed countries in the Middle East uh, and North Africa. So we, it, we, that shows that we clearly that we need to target our investments and our policy interventions to, to the tech and for the technologies that work best in each place. We've created a, a web tool which allows anybody to, to go in and target any given country and look at any of these technologies that we've analyzed and see what, what, what are the yield and area impacts in, in, uh, in each, each area within the country. And, and the idea is then that People say in the Ministry of Agriculture in Mozambique or, or Ethiopia can actually go in and look at the web tool and, and get a sense uh, for what is the potential of technologies in, 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 their, in their own countries.